Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us with Cooking with the Count. Tonight we're going to make a very special recipe. That w and this is one of our concoctions. This is not something you're going to find in any other recipe book or uh, on the internet or anything like that. Um, we're actually going to stuff. We're going to take little potatoes like this. We're going to cut them in half. We're going to kind of gutter them out a little bit. We're going to. I've got leftover ham. I've got broccoli. I've got half and half and heavy cream. I have sour cream. I've got various cheeses. I've got some bacon, flour, onions, butter, garlic, salt, pepper, garlic seasoning, chives, and we're going to make a feast that is going to just blow you away. So with that, let's get started. We're going to have some fun and you're going to appreciate it. We'll be right back. Okay. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my broccoli and get this simmering. Next thing I'm going to do is take my potatoes. These are baked potatoes that have been, you know, cooked already. I've got this handy dandy little tool that I found at one of the discount stores that will allow me to take out a good portion of the potato. I'm going to make a nice little well in there because that's going to be filled with all our yummies of the ham and um, so that's basically what we want so I've got quite a few of these to go so with that I will be right back when I get these done and as you can see I've hollowed out all my potatoes I've left just a little thin layer um, of potato in each skin. Of course, I've scrubbed the skin and, uh, you know, they're, they're all clean and ready to go. As you can see, I've got a couple of bowls of it. I want to go ahead and throw some ham in each one of these. This is a ham that we made a few days ago and we had plenty left over. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. Anyway, as you can see, I got plenty of ham in there. I've cooked up my broccoli. It's cooling down a little bit. Now we're going to move to the stove and we're going to put together basically a potato soup. And then we're going to coat it over, put plenty of cheese in, and we're going to bake it in the oven. So with that, let's go to the stove. Okay, first thing we're going to do is start our butter. Everything starts off with butter. And it's so good for you. I'm not talking margarine, I'm talking butter. And we're going to throw in our onions. Get those in there. We're going to saute them. And it's going to be really delicious. So with that, let me get started. I'll bring you back in in just a few minutes. As you can see, we've got our onions pretty much translucent. They're looking pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add our flour. I'm going to turn this into a beautiful roux. Cook that down so the flour can cook off. It's going to be good. And now we're going to add our heavy cream in half and half. Yeah, let's go ahead and add that. <laughs> Love that sound. Now we can add our pepper, garlic seasoning, salt, garlic, come on boys, on every bit of you. A 
Let's let that work. Get magic. Together. Let those flavors all meld together nicely. Go ahead and add our sour cream. And all those potato that we took out of the skins, we're going to add that in here to make it nice and thick and flavorful. Okay, now we're going to use our immersion blender and we're going to bring all this together because now that we've got all the major ingredients in, now we're going to add these potatoes into this. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes your fingers are the best spatulas in the world just have to use them. Now, let's work these in. little bit of uh, you know little chunks in there because now we're going to take our other potatoes in to make it just a little bit smooth okay as you can see this is nice and thick we've got the little chunks of potatoes from the uh, yellow potatoes that we put together. Now let's add this to the pot. It's really, really good. Now since the broccoli is already cooked, we don't have to, you know, cook this too much longer. We want to add this right onto our potato skins and our ham. And it's going to be incredible. Uh, we still got cheese to add. And you know, everything tastes better with bacon. And everything tastes better with cheese. So, with that, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. Anyway, look at this. It's nice and thick. We're going to put just a little bit of cheese to start. I'm going to layer this because it's going to be good. There. And now we're going to take our mixture oh, and pour it onto these potatoes. over the potato skins. You could do this for a party or you could just do it for a meal. This is like an ultimate potato casserole. And of course, 
I'm going to have a mixture of cheeses. My old cheddar. Okay, we're going to shake them up a little bit. Get them to settle nicely. There. Now, we're going to throw these in the oven. We're going to brown them up nicely. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, and we're back. Tell you what, I'd be really happy when they have smell-o-vision. Anyway, I, uh, I've got two halves. It smells incredible. I can't wait to, to try this. Top with a few extra pieces of bacon. The ham is inside it. Some scallions. And uh, looks pretty darn good. And I, I threw a few chives on there just for presentation. Remember, you don't need all the dishes that I use when I put on a video. I do that so that you can identify all the different products that go into it. But, you know, honestly, most of the times you can do it with one or two dishes. With that, I am dying to try this because this is a new recipe. And uh, it's just really driving me nuts with, the, with the, 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 the smell of this. I mean, it really smells incredible. So, I want a piece of the baked potato underneath. I want a piece of the ham. I want a piece of the bacon. I want the broccoli. Mmm. Wow. That is great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Like us on YouTube. The website will have the, the recipe at www.cookingwiththecount.com. Thank you very much for joining us. God bless you. Share it with your friends. And the only thing I can say is bon appetit. Good night.